hello hello welcome back to my channel so today i will just speak on a topic which says why it's so important to pray at 3 a.m the power of 3 a.m so 3 a.m is the time when the world is asleep even the spiritual realm is also quiet so it's so very important to pray and make sure that you're not getting disturbed and there's no one maybe to say something to judge you when you pray feel free get a space be alone in a quiet place and during this time you can easily connect with the spirits of the lord easily with not out distractions and by waking up at 3 a.m to pray it shows that how value of being in his presence more than your sleep so that is being appreciated from the lord this is the time you completely alone with god so you need to relax when you pray and chase everything that will distract you chase everything that will drain you before you start praying you need to chill so waking up at 3 a.m it shows that you are very in you are so serious about your life you need to change your life you pray because you need your life to be changed you need your life to be protected this is why you you pray this is why some of us they wake up at 3 a.m because then being controlled by the holy spirit to chase everything that near them so today i want you to look at yourself and see how things will go when you take the time 3 a.m it's so powerful guys even if you are so not in a financial stable today you will start learning and try to figure it out how to pray and commit yourself to the lord first you need to know what you are praying why you are praying what are you praying for who will listen people often seem to think that in order to talk to god you need to have a monotone voice or to have those special voice to talk to him that is not a case just talk to him god will listen shouldn't have to be like even like a prophet if you're not don't act like a prophet don't act like just be you speak to god he will listen so 3 a.m prayer empowers you to grow stronger and deeper that is why it's so vital for you to cover yourself with the blood of jesus and to read god's words so that you will arise at 3 a.m to pray with the power with a self confident and again it's also provide us with the opportunity to break our curses from our enemies how who else can do that so even our family members being cast from them so 3 a.m that is where you put everything on the table and speak inside your heart according to your situation right now and it's so so strong so as we know that praying at 3 a.m is so powerful so i will just read for you guys as you can see i've got a bible and i'm just going to share that uh, this type of verse that i have it says luke 6 verse 12 it says and it came to pass in those days there's he went into the mountain to pray. He continued all night in prayer to God. So that shows that 3 a.m., like for example, at 3 a.m., it's very important. God listens. That is why Jesus went to the mountain and prayed because he knew God would listen. So do I. Luke 6 verse 12. This verse is so powerful. It shows that we have to believe that God is real. There is this type of times where 
we have to kneel down to Lord. 3 a.m. It was powerful. God prayed whole night. So even 3 a.m. He continued prayed. So let us be like the Lord. Speak everything in your hearts. You can even fast. Fast for some three days, two days, and make everything possible for your life. To come clean, your heart to be pure, to be unique. So it shows that Jesus sacrificed his sleep to stay in the mountain a whole night to pray to the Lord. And he knew that he's the Lord will listen. God will listen to Jesus. He knew Jesus that his Lord will listen. And your Lord will also listen because we share one spirit in this universe that is why as believers we must know the best time to pray can be like 12 a.m 3 a.m 6 p.m so we should know as you there you have problems you got needs you have wants i want you to set a time even if you, maybe you don't prefer 3 a.m maybe you prefer 12 a.m but i want you to set a time give yourself to him he will give himself to you don't mind other people what they will say because you're taking a right path you don't mind those bad influences i want you to make a decision today i want you to take a right time know yourself your inner self love your work love your people treat people there is this type of thing that i don't like about us as christians we can make a time and said let me just set a time and pray but next month boom nothing you see maybe god wants you to bless you next month and then you set you quit you just like i i will see you next time god i will sleeping you praying when you're sleeping you just need to respect and kneel down get a space speak to the lord say whatever you want to say give yourself to him he will give himself to you forever. Even if you feel so lonely in life, as if like you're nobody, you don't trust yourself anymore, but don't forget that God is alive. God will wipe your tears and make you happy to live your best life like never before. So I check the Lord. You need to pray for people it shouldn't be always like it is about you all the time whenever you pray pray for your family pray for your kids pray for your sisters and brothers make a lot of wishes for them then you're gonna be the last one i want you to be very consistent and know the way to live life respect this type of earth that we in because they got flaws evil spirits bad people you need to be strong as someone has a christian as a christian you need to be wise as well and god doesn't take time to respond he respond instantly, like enormously, guys. God shows he's alive, is with us, with some lot of things, but he only made you to commit yourself 
people that don't understand when you say committing yourself to the Lord, when you're committing yourself to the Lord, that is where you change the way you live life. Commit yourself. Live God's life. Change and be like Him. Even though you're going to be not 100%, but maybe like 10 things, same like Jesus. Forgive people. Don't be a sinner. Try by all means to not be a sinner. If you don't try to be like a prophet trying to be recognized according to your work. God wasn't like that. Jesus wasn't like that. He knew by his work. He wasn't telling people or like to be known about things that he made. It was only the people who was telling everyone who Jesus was. So be like him. Even if you have power, don't tell anyone you have like powers now. You know how to heal everyone. Your work must show. People must talk about you. Okay? People must talk about you. Let be your own private thing. But the people must share your work in everything you do. So so i know like people they don't believe in prayer some they don't believe in god uh if maybe it's some of the people are uh, there who don't believe in god today you have to start living in the lord and understand that jesus is with us and he will always be with us and i know we've been through it a lot and we've been through a lot and people they're dragging, dragging us down as if like we're nothing so today i want you to change your life i want you to make a decision i want you to start tomorrow and start today and whenever you are ready to believe and commit yourself to the lord no one has to force you to take a time with the lord you have to make a decision from your heart because you know your situation at home you know what you're going through you know your faults you know what you caused about your life and what mistake you made jesus is so generous and brilliant he's so wise i want you to be wise like a lord and to be wise to everything that moves around you whenever you wake up and ask this question for yourself and said what things that i made what thing that i made this year what prayer did i start this year i want you to ask yourself this question are you gonna be able to be alone and live life alone without god protecting you helping you i want you to change i want you to believe that everything today will rise everything today will proper and i want you to cry out loud to god don't be afraid to cry don't be afraid to do things that you want to do in life i want you to focus to the lord i want you to change your thinking i want you to change the way you see things your eyes can prescribe i want you to come to jesus with your mistakes with your flaws with your self-doubts come with to him in this time protect your ways protect the way you live love him he will guide you whatever step you take maybe you are starting to do an exam at home right now you're planning to further your studies you're planning to be successful you're starting your business you're starting to change your life right now but you can see there is this type of lack in your life right now. I want you to change the lack. I want you to change it to rise and change the everything that is inside your heart right now. And make it possible. Make it possible to your life. But you need to call Jesus and make the thing that you want to do to be possible. And now I want you to reason yourself. Opportunity that is waiting, you, waiting for you right now. I want you to grab the opportunity with the Lord. I want you to grab that money with the Lord. I want you to grab that percentage, the highest percentage at school with the Lord. With Him, everything is possible. Everything will be always be possible forever. Just allow Him. Pray, pray in this time, 3 a.m. I'm still saying, Name your prize to the Lord.
call him listen to his soul listen to his present allow him until you feel that present you feel the angels around you you feel that people are listening to you right now whenever you pray you need to reach that level this you can able to listen to everyone you can able to sense sense the energy sense the power of god this is where you start changing whenever you pray this is why you started to feel that you already blessed even though you already not started praying but you can sense that god is here right now my ancestors are here they listen to you because we also have ancestors those ones who died years ago they are with us they protect us they they come in dreams and speak with us in many ways you can even pray for them as well you can even ask anything from them to protect you i remember the other time where I was thinking that God is not real. I said, God, show me some things that you real. I don't have money right now, but I want to share tons and offerings in church. But I'm so broke. I just want you to prove that you real. I don't have nothing, but still, I'm going to church. I remember it was the morning. I knelt down and pray and talk to him. It was like I'm it was like I'm talking to him even though it's like it was like a prayer, you see. But I I spoke with him. I was honest that I don't have even like one coin for church. I don't have nothing. I want you to prove that you real. I'm going to church without money. Guess what? the pastor stood up in the altar chair and came to me and gave me the coin that I asked from Jesus and I cried and I took that coin I put it same like other people in the church it was so unbelievable there is way I started that to believe like enormously that God is real because I prayed in the morning God respond at the church by send the pastor to give me money to pay to put on the tons and offerings you see it was so amazing this is the first thing made me to believe that God is real he sp- I spoke he respond I want you to prove that God is real by doing a lot of things about yourself. Ask anything. If you're not a believer enough or you believe but you want to do more, ask for more, try this. Try and be honest that you don't have that thing. Just be honest. God listen, guys. He listened. I want you to prove it. I want you to try and connect as if like I remember I talked with God as if like he was in my room. You can do the same as well. Invite him. I said God, I know people are listening to you like this world, every people that are praying right now, but I want you to listen to me. He he listened. I was so amazed. So that is why everything that involves Jesus I'm on anything can be preaching singing listening to music anything that talks about Jesus I am on I'm not going to say I'm lazy to do that I will do it I will do it and I will always like doing those type of things no one will stop me and no evil will come against me i will just destroy everything that is evil near me i want to continue to be like this forever so change 3 a.m 
12 a.m., 6 p.m., 6 a.m., you need to pray. This is time. It will be obvious. So thank you for your time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to pray at 3 a.m. See you on my next video. Thank you.